All right, I'm, I'm trying something new. And this oddly started when this beautiful young lady was showing no mercy on me and murdering me on Scrabble. It wouldn't even be close, man. It would not even be close. So I thought, okay, I'm having fun with this game either way, regardless of the outcome. But I want to I wanna close the gap. That's where this comes in to play. And what this is, it's a way to expand my vocabulary. And just kind of keeping a documented format for myself to always look back to. And it's always more fun, or it's... See, look, look at me just saying it. And it's always... It's a lot more entertaining when you see a video version versus writing flashcards. All right, it's fairly simple. We got a credible source, and I have three dice in my hand. Red, black, and white dice, and each of the dice will represent the first, middle, and last number of the hundreds place. I'm taking this route so that there is just a bunch of randomness, all right? So there's no predictability. I am just experiencing the word firsthand, just as you guys are. I don't. This isn't pre-made. I'm not sure what I'm going to learn. That's. What, I think that's fun though. Instead of going out and searching for the words, the words are going out and searching for me. Yeah, it's really that simple. And now that that's explained, I am going to show you guys the role, and we're going to jump into what I find. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what words we're going to come across. But maybe by the end of these 3,500 words, I mean, that's, it's a big goal, all right? And we're not sure if we're going to get all the way there. But along the way, we're going to be learning new words and hopefully be implementing these new words as time goes on. And as I'm speaking to you guys in these videos, you're going to see the progress being made. But it's also not about just using big words to use big words. You know, they have a time and a place. It's almost, it's the idea it's the theory behind being able to use those words to your disposal yet now you're refraining because why flex your words if you don't have to okay let's do it all right moment of truth All right, the numbers were one, two, three, which means page 123. We have resonance and we have ultrasonic. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna choose an order from top to bottom. So since resonance is on top of ultrasonic, we're gonna be doing resonance. And then we're gonna mark it off so that we don't ever come across the same word more than once. Therefore, the word of choice is resonance. <laughs> we're gonna dissect, we're gonna go inside, outside, open this puppy. Now that we know the word, it's time for the fun to begin. After going back and forth to ChatGPT, watching numerous YouTube videos, surfacing the world wide web and using the vocab builder book itself here's what i found resonance ain't so simple that's what i found there are actually so many different uses for it all right i, I was trying to narrow it down to one but you don't work like that the physics definition prolongation of sound by reflection from a surface or by the synchronous vibration of a neighboring object the mechanics version is the condition in which an object or system is subjected to an oscillating force having a frequency close to its own natural frequency astronomy the occurrence of a simple ratio between the periods of revolution of two bodies about a single primary chemistry the state attributed to certain molecules of having a structure that cannot adequately be represented by a single structural formula but is a composite of two or more structures of higher energy after deep diving into this word it was very clear to me that i didn't know the word as good as i thought i did or i didn't know in depth about the word its meaning how to properly use it because i've used the word before which got me hella confused and scared that i look like a complete jackass since all of the definitions and meanings of the word that were coming on the forefront that were presenting itself weren't Residence. anywhere I'm there talking anywhere near how I used it. You can see that as I'm researching it. I'm getting a little bit confused. Fortunately though, I kept reading and that's when things started to click, as you'll see. That makes much sense. So far what I've found is that resonance has a lot to do with audio, with volume, sound waves. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing instruments here, violins, and I 
I've used it before this word, but not in the way that it was describing, so I got a little scared that I was completely making a fool of myself until I got to the last sentence of the paragraph where it says, it's not always used to describe sound. For example, you may say that a novel resonates strongly with you because the author seems to be describing your own experiences and feelings. Bingo. So if you were a little worried too that that was you for a second, it got, it got me. And luckily though, I kept reading engines. Now it's your turn to share your own moments that display resonance in the comments below. And feel free to share whatever. There's no judgment whatsoever. All right. Go freaky. Go stupid. Go wacky. Go wild. Don't care. I'm curious to see uh, your moments. Now we're at the point of the video where we're going to end off with something memorable that'll hopefully stick like gum under tables. You don't even know it's there, but it's going to be stuck. Without further ado, roll it. <laughs> Resonance is the sound that rings, echoes through and makes hearts sing. Vibrations match, they harmonize. A resonance fills the air, yeah, it amplifies. Resonance is the sound that rings, echoes through and makes hearts sing. Vibrations match, they harmonize. A resonance fills the air, yeah, it Eyes. Resonance is the sound that rings, echoes through and makes hearts sing. Vibrations match, they harmonize. A resonance fills the air, yeah, it amplifies.